Hi guys, this is a very quick, uh, a very quick video. Uh, I just want to show you a solution I found to organising my um, my script a little bit better. Uh, what I've got is I've gone and downloaded the um, the the link shell extensions for Windows, and this allows you to create uh, symbolic links in NTFS file systems. Uh, which is really useful because it allows you to, rather than having like a shortcut, it allows you to have the file, um, you can have a folder, but rather than like being uh, a folder with like a directory with contents inside it, it's actually a link to a, another place in the file system. Uh, and as far as programs are concerned, that's kind of transparent, it just thinks it's a, a normal folder. So what I've got is I've created a new Unity project, uh, which I've just called AI, uh, AI Dev. And in this, I want to test all of my navigation code, right? So then in my, doc in my documents, I've got a temporary folder just for demonstration. And in that, I've got a folder called scripts. In that folder, I've got uh, I'm in script lol, and uh, uh, it was a text file. I've got a C sharp script, and I've got a prefab, which was created in Unity. And then I've got this, the assets folder for AI dev. So I, in this, I've right clicked here, said explore, and that opens this, right? So what I want to do is I want to have my scripts in here, but I also want to have my scripts here in other projects. So I don't want to copy and paste it in and then make sure that I remember to update stuff. I just want it all to happen in the background, nice and simple. So what I can do is I can right click on the central repository, uh, sorry, on the central folder here, which is where all of my scripts for the, the space projects are going to go. And I can say, um, hang on, I was halfway through doing this. So I can say, right click on it and pick link source. Yeah, And this is the, the new option that's been added with the, the shell extension. So then I can go over to here with my AI dev assets folder and I can right click and say drop as symbolic link. Uh, you can't see that, but that's just saying I need to do that as an admin. And uh, I've clicked OK, and now I've got this. It looks like a shortcut, but it's actually a symbolic link to this folder here. right? So if I open this up, you can see it actually still thinks it's in AI Dev Assets Scripts, but it's got all of the content of this central uh, scripts folder. right? In, if I navigate back to Unity, it will uh, refresh this. So I've got my scripts, I've got I'm a script lol, I've got C, uh, the C sharp and I've got the asset. Uh, I've got the, the prefab. And I can create new stuff in here if I create a new material. I call it new material, right? What I can then do is in my scripts, this is in AI dev assets scripts, I now have my new material. If I also look in my temp directory, in scripts, I've got new material. So this is, these two folders are now synchronized. Anything you do in the linked folder, uh, yeah, anything you do in the link happen really actually happens in this folder, right? And this is great because what I can do is I can now add this folder into my Git repository and keep track of all of the changes to it. But I can also add these scripts as like a whole thing to separate folders, uh, to separate projects. Sorry. So I've got my AI test project in the background here, and I might want to do like an artwork project in the background. Uh, but what I don't want to do is I don't want to, when I'm testing AI, I don't want to sit there and load in all of the, the artwork. I don't want to sit there and load in all of the music, um, which is was causing me a problem. It, was, it takes uh, like five minutes to open up Unity now because it has to recompile all the, uh, uh, re-encode all of the sound effects and the music every now and then, which is weird. I don't know why it does that, but it wants to. Anyway, so that's, uh, that is uh, a quick solution to that problem. This is the link shell extension. Um, I'll copy that into, the, uh, into the, uh, the description of the video. Uh, if you've got any questions, stick them in the comments or ask on the Facebook group. Uh, there's a link to the Facebook group in, the, uh, in the, the description below as well. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Lars Arlander. Rock on. Have fun. Have a good day. And I'm going to get back to doing more um, actual development videos. I just wanted to show you all this first because I think it's really cool. Awesome. All right. Bye, guys.